This is a grade three math practice test for TN ready. On this version of the test, this is question number two. What is the value of 70 times four? And I can answer my answer in the space provided. So that's what I'll end up doing eventually. Now, the thing about having a number here that's so small is if for some reason you don't remember your multiplication facts for seven times four, you can actually just add 70 four times. So if I wanted to do this, I'm welcome to do that. That is a completely appropriate thing to do here just because the multiplication is just a lot of adding, really. That's the reason why we do multiplication, so we don't have to add a ton of times. With that being said, learning your multiplication tables is a huge deal, and I'm telling you this as someone who taught at high school level for many years, often with students who did not have very strong skills in their multiplication facts because they didn't want to learn them, or it was difficult for them. Whatever the reason is, find something that works for you and learn your multiplication tables, because it's really difficult to do high school math, and it's very frustrating, and people did not feel good about themselves because they couldn't do the work that they knew they were capable of doing if only they had learned these facts when they were young. So while you're your age, learn your multiplication facts now while you can. It'll make your life much easier in high school math and as you move forward. So if I'm following the algorithm, I need to multiply the ones place together first. Zero times four is, of course, nothing. And then I just need to multiply the tens place times four, seven times four. And again, if you wanted to add, that's fine. Seven plus seven is 14, plus seven more is 21, plus seven more is 28. So I put 28 here, and I have 280. So really, as I work this out, I have 0 times 4 going this way, and then I have 7 times 4 going in the 10 spot. 28 goes there. Nothing goes there. There it is, 280. Not super difficult if you know your multiplication facts, or in this case, it doesn't really hurt you all that much if you don't know 7 times 4, as long as you remember that 7 times 4 means that I add 7, four times, or in this case, 70 four times, to give me my final answer of 280. So that's it.